How's it going YouTube? It's Smiggles back again. Now, what we've got here is Dovetail Games Euro Fishing. It's a bit of a weird one, you don't often see a fishing game. I think the last one I ever remember was uh, Sega Bass on the Dreamcast. So uh, it's been a while for me anyway. Uh, so if you want to know the intricate story of the game, uh, you're an ancient samurai who's time traveling throughout different wars and uh, no, okay, yeah, you're just you're just fishing. So this guy, uh, junior course angler, is my current rank of level six. Um, the game is actually, it's got like real nice ambient music here in the start. It's actually, it's, <laughs> I, I would almost swear the music is completely taken from uh, Minecraft. It's that, if you, if you know anyone who's loaded up the main menu of Minecraft, that's what you've got going on. Um, it's very similar to like as a Minecraft or farming simulator or something, a game where you you just put in a little bit of time. It's it's one of those really easy games, in terms of you just sit there and just play it, and uh, it does help if you've actually fished before. Now I've I've only ever done uh, sea fishing, but um, yeah, this is all like based on lakes and everything. So you've got a huge selection of stuff. So course match stockling and carp fish uh, in terms of all the different rods, rods, reels, lines, baits, hooks, the works. Like I've been playing it for a while so I have got a good chunk of stuff worked up. Um, so there's my tackle box so I'm using live, live maggots and blood worms and then I'm using sweet corn and stuff like that. So there is online in it now. The online is a bit glitchy, like your rods glitch, your actual player jumps forward and everything, and it's not even, it's not even your connection because the mates I was playing with, they uh, they have really good connections and it was the same stuff. Uh, you can do online tournaments. It tells you, you have a log here of all the species. So this is what you, you can catch: roach, bream, tench, carp, mirror carp, letter carp, and catfish. I've yet to catch a catfish, but. Uh, and actually a letter carp, you'll see not there. But yeah, everything else there I've caught. I've actually caught way more than that because I have the achievements for a few of them. Uh, the achievements are very easy in terms of, well, it's just like, well, most of them are like, catch, catch um, 50 of each species of fish and then there are special fish. So we go out into the, so you get, this is Euro fishing, so it is obviously Europe, England, France, Spain. There are your ones. So we go out to the big lake. Uh, the only thing with the game is the game is under. It's I think it's eighteen euro on the Xbox Store at the minute, and it's it's actually considerably cheap for like because normally even though the game is very small, I think it's only three or four gig in size. But I've seen games like rugby and cricket and everything on the Xbox One for going for like 50, 60 euro and they're the same size and tiny games and everything where it's nice to get a game that's it kind of has a niche audience and I think the developers knew that so it's like right we're gonna make it you know affordable like you know lower the price more people will pick it up and have a go so this is it you start off with your map we pick a couple of locations so we go here because we have two spots everything work in it does take a while for everything to come in and if anyone does pick up this game beware when you do start up the game you will think the game has crashed but it just takes for it takes a long time to load the game at the start like i'm talking nearly two minutes you'll just have a loading screen so you can claim a peg so there we go we've got three rods inventory yeah right so blood worm so like if you have if you do have an interest in fishing uh, you will know an awful lot of the stuff that's in the game it is geared towards people who do know fishing uh, and know what they're doing but it's it doesn't take long to actually you know learn it so there there's rocks and gravel gotta get out of that a little bit a lot more gravel bloody gravel okay that'll do we just leave it there so you can leave down your rod. We get rod number two. We put. Let's go for some sweet corn. 
see if we can catch something here. Let me fire this out. Like in terms of like a game, people say, "Oh God, it's boring." You know, like yeah, if if you only like your big shooting triple A games, then fine, it's not for you. But an awful lot of people like to try out a bit of everything, and uh, it's nice to see something completely different pop up in the store. You know, you're not relying on the same stuff again and again and again. Uh, oh yeah, I haven't actually tried the red maggot yet, so. It is actually good if you get a couple of mates who have it as well, like uh, as three of my mates have it there, so we were playing it all together there the other day in the one lake, you know, in the one multiplayer session, and um, it was a good crack, like, because, uh, you know, we we're all shouting at each other and a whole lot, like, if, <laughs> if you try and, like, I'd be standing here and fishing, and one of my mates would come over and try and fish on top of me, it's like, get away, this is my spot. And uh, you can lose fish as well. Your line can break, and uh, you can have to have to try different things, well, uh, different baits, I should say. And obviously, as yeah, the more more points you get and everything like that, you start working your way up, and you get better rods and rods that can fire further out and a whole lot cast, I should say, not fire. So, yeah, like graphically, yeah, it's not supposed to be graphic <laughs> it's not supposed to be amazing it's just supposed to be a little game and they will have times like this and you've got three rods out nothing's happening and you're sitting there going why did i buy this but like it's one of those games that you will play just you know to pass some time just you know you don't want anything to you don't really want to go in and play multiplayer you don't want to go in and do that you just want to something that can be on and you can just relax and play it like minecraft minecraft's the same type of thing like if you're talking about people of you know what you do what do you do in minecraft like yeah there is a little story to it the same in this there's little there there is actual championships you can do in single player but otherwise you can just go out to free play like this and um like in terms of minecraft like you don't do an awful lot really yeah it, it's up to you to make the fun in it but like sometimes if you pick up a rod and you move one your other rods will start going off there is an awful lot of stuff like tension of lines and different types of baits and knowing what fish will take what but the game actually does tell you so you know, we're going to play here until we catch something <laughs> so yeah like and then as well you could be standing here for like a couple of minutes and nothing will happen and then next thing all three of your rods will go off at once oh there you go number three is going see it there so let's pick it up let's see what we got let's start reeling her in so yeah if you have fished before you'll know kind of how to reel in fishes fish fish fishes fishies <laughs> but um as i said i've only ever done sea fishing but uh you know to reduce the strain or you know what way to pull the rod and actually sometimes it can get frustrating because the fish will run into reeds or something like that and then the line just snaps straight away because the fish can get away so there the fish has gone to sleep so we take him out what do we get what do we get i don't think it's going to be big because he didn't put much, up much of a fight it's bream is it should be Yeah, so 2.48 kilo bream. And uh, yeah, you can set it to both so you can have the fish weight in pounds because normally, yeah, uh, normally fish are done in pounds. But yeah, it's just like, it's really nice to have a simple little game because, yeah, as I said, it's a niche thing. It's not something you're going to see every day in the stores of loads of uh, fishing simulators so like it, it all depends on the way you're playing on just the way it is because uh, sometimes you can every time you cast out uh, you could only have to wait like 10 seconds and every single rod will be going flying around the lake uh, but other times yeah just like this because as soon as I started recording the game was like no nope. <laughs> you're not going to find anything but uh, there is only lakes in it and there's only like five lakes 
and the achievements are fairly handy in it like because when you do start earning an awful lot of points you start getting the stuff the equipment to start uh, going after catfish um, and then like by that stage you should have at least 50 of every species of fish caught uh, and there's only like what five five six species of fish as well so like I don't know they might decide to add some DLC into it for river fishing as well I doubt they do sea fishing because that'd be completely I suppose we do this type of fishing it's two completely different types when you go out to the sea sea is an awful lot easier to fish in, in my experience I have the river fished like maybe twice in my life but I preferred sea fishing because this is like in reality like you would be sitting down here waiting and waiting waiting on fish <laughs> but um and see the fish over there see them sticking up see look <laughs> oh my god i love it when that happens that is one of the funny glitches that happens the fish like just spout up out of the water like that <laughs> actually never get tired of that because like even in multiplayer we're all playing um together like we do be buckled laughing at that when the fish to be just like pointing straight up out of the water i think they're the catfish because the catfish are normally near the shore i think um but yeah like there are there are glitches in it um and i'm not gonna say yeah that there's <laughs> there's no glitches there there are some very obvious ones especially in multiplayer as well um but there seems to be a good few people playing it as well like it's, i think it's because as i said like it's one of those games you don't see a whole lot of you're not gonna see a whole lot of people with uh, a fishing game in their catalog i see like oh, no the camera actually did move sometimes the camera doesn't move when you change rods game isn't without its flaws for a simple game so I want to catch another fish before I finish up this one oh yeah uh, right you get different types of casting and every short type of cast like it's just if you like fishing some of those games is, is nice to be fair though it's just it's a handy it is a handy 1000 gamer score if anyone is looking on that and it's also a uh, handy game if you get a couple of your mates to play it as well because it does pass the time a bit quicker <laughs> because it can get a bit tedious like this and no fucking fish wants to bite <laughs> let's see if we can find uh, you can just you can just leave your rods down and just go go away <laughs> just walk off here there's my my tent my bag, my chair, and I can't interact with any of them. But this lake, I'd probably probably a bad lake to pick this one because this lake is like the final lake, so you should have all your best gear. So you're supposed to be fishing with heavy baits and heavy lines and everything. But that's all. That's something that's really annoying in it. The fish just jump out of water in front of your stuff. It's like, take my fucking bait, you bastards. But I suppose the best way of fishing was South Park. Throw a grenade in the water. <laughs> Come on. Oh, finally. That took forever. Well, it didn't. I was only. That was a while. Right. Uh, Rod, which one? Number two. God, I was waiting ages for you. If you if you break my line now, I am going to go mental. <laughs> It's just typical, as soon as you sit down to record something and show people like, oh yeah, look at all these fish that can come and all this and everything happens at once and then it's like, no, not a single fish. And I think this is a small little git as well because he's not putting up a real fight. And sometimes the fish will swim right in beside you and then they'll uh, break the line really quick as well. Yeah, it's a tiny, it's a little minnow. I've wasted my time. Look, look at it. He's holding it as if it's a bloody shark. <laughs> you know, like, oh, yeah, the roach, 0.86. If the roach is only normally 0.7 or something like that, normal roaches. So you see, like, you can leave your two rods there and then say, all right, well, you, you two rods stay there and I'm going to go over here. I'm going to cast out over here. 
The only problem is if I do catch a fish on either of those lines, it's a, uh, it's going to um, kind of impede this one. But yeah, the reeling in is a bit ridiculously fast though, and like it can get a bit glitchy. But <laughs> I suppose overall, yeah, it's it's a fine little game for its price. Like for its price, like it's only eighteen euro. Uh, on the Xbox store I don't know what the regional equivalent is on other stores or along I think the game was out last year I think on PC or something but um, you know for the price of it like I've seen an awful lot worse out there that that's charged you know 50-60 quid like there's actually a, a cheap knockoff of farming simulator on it now on the Xbox store for like 40 quid or something like that so you know you can, you, there's always stuff out there that's not as good but anyway I've been Smiggles I hope you enjoyed looking at this little game uh, it's not often you see a fishing game so it's nice to see something different and if you like my channel give me a subscription and give me a like, comment, or whatever you want in my videos and I will catch you guys in another video thanks for watching good luck